In this video we introduce you to an Excel sheet which calculates the forces and accelerations experienced by a cargo on board a ship, as the ship moves in the open sea. These forces and accelerations are calculated in accordance with the Noble Denton Guidelines for Marine Transportation Revision 5, and supplemented by the ABS rules for mobile offshore drilling units which calculates the wind forces. A cargo located on a ship experiences forces and accelerations due to the motion and also due to the wind. These two forces are calculated separately in the Excel sheet and added together to give the final forces and accelerations. The motion forces are calculated as per Noble Denton while the wind forces are calculated as per the ABS motor rules. Let's take a short tour of this Excel sheet. In the beginning we have the instructions sheet in which the directions for using this Excel sheet and the references used have been mentioned. Next, is the worksheet on inputs, in which we can see a figure of the cargo on the vessel and the different inputs are also explained. The inputs are divided into different categories, the general particulars like the acceleration due to gravity, air density etc. Next is the vessel's particulars, in which the vessel's dimensions, the draft, and the block coefficient are required. Then we have the environmental criteria which is the wind speed. Finally we have the cargo particulars, which requires the weight, the dimensions of the cargo, and the location of the cargo on the vessel, along with the cargo shape coefficient in both the directions. These shape coefficients are taken from the ABS motor rules, and a table has been added to this worksheet for ready reference. Once these inputs are provided by the user, the software then calculates the motion forces and the wind loads on the cargo. Next we go to the motion forces worksheet in which the design conditions from Noble Denton are calculated from the inputs of the vessel. These design conditions are the roll angle, the time period, the pitch angle, its pitch time period and the accelerations. Once these have been calculated, the different components of the motion forces are calculated by the software, and added up, to give the maximum forces in the transverse, longitudinal, and the vertical directions. Next, is the calculation of the wind loads based on the ABS motor rules. We go to the wind loads worksheet. In the beginning, we can see that the cargo with its dimensions is shown in this figure on the right, and then we have the formulas for the wind forces in the two directions, the longitudinal and transverse directions. Depending on the shape and the height of the cargo, the wind areas in the transverse and the longitudinal directions are factored with the cargo shape coefficient and the height coefficient, as required in the ABS motor rules. For the height coefficient, there are different zones in which different height coefficients are to be applied. The Excel sheet calculates the areas falling in different zones, and accordingly multiplies this area with the height coefficient to give the factored areas, and adds them up to give the final cumulative area. Once the factored areas are available, the wind forces are calculated using the standard formulas. Now we have the motion forces and the wind forces calculated from the Excel sheet. We can get the final accelerations by adding these forces. In the transverse direction, the transverse motion force and the transverse wind force are added up to give the final transverse force. Similarly forces are added in the longitudinal direction too. In the vertical direction, there are only the motion forces. In the final accelerations worksheet, the final accelerations and the forces are reported. These calculations are very useful in marine operations in knowing the forces and accelerations on the cargo, using which we can design the sea fastening of the cargo. Thank you.